Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am doing a vlog of my spring break trip. For spring break, I am in Guadeloupe right now, the French Caribbean. And I'm here with my mom, my aunt, my nana. It's super fun. And we're here for literally a week. So yeah, I'm gonna take you along on my trip. If you haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe, comment what you wanna see next. And yeah, cheers to, you know, my first like, I guess official, I mean, I did my Q&A, but like my first official fun video of 2023. We're getting back into it. Anyways, let me show you the outfit for tonight. So every night they have like a different like, they have like different themes to each night. Also, I'm late for dinner, which is like, are we surprised? Absolutely not. So I have this cute little dress from Aloe actually. And then I paired it with, oh my gosh, the dogs are out. With these uh, Chanel sandals and this cute little bag that I got from Urban a minute ago. And then I just put my hair in some pigtails. I didn't put any makeup on because we literally just got in today and I'm exhausted and no one's trying to do that tonight. So yeah, anyways, how exciting. Let's have a fun ride. And also say hi, mom. Hello, look we're matching. What's the we're, plan? We're kind of matching with our blues. We were even matching the room. We're even matching the room. Not land either. Okay guys, so today is the first full day. We already, it's already like one-ish. I had, I took like the morning just to relax and stuff, but it's been like raining on and off all day. So now we've decided that we'll do, we're just gonna go into town and see if we can find this museum that we're looking for and just adventure, you know, we're gonna take a little a little adventure. So if I find something, I'll let you guys know. Uh, but let me show you what it looks like right now. So we've like, we were out like on the beach, but then we actually went on the beach like twice and then it rained so we went back inside the rain is now clearing up a little bit it was really like coming down for like 10 minutes and then it stopped that's what these tropical climates do but yeah so that's that's what we're doing let me show you my little fits i'm wearing this little hat i have my necklace on i never wear this is called like a like a not a onesie like a leotard i don't know what people call them nowadays but it's like the one that like straps underneath i'm wearing this and then these shorts and then my sandals again with my little cute bag and that's what we're doing anyways i'm taking you guys along for the ride so let's see you soon So here's some food. It's like some pork, fish, <laughs> rice, fries, and then like some barbecue. Very yummy. <sighs> oh my god. Good morning. <laughs> So today is like day three. I forgot to like vlog yesterday, but actually I did, but I didn't. So we were on a tour yesterday and I'll show you bits and pieces of the tour in like a little montage. But yeah, I didn't film too much cause you know, I was living in the moment also. I was asleep on the bus the whole time. So anyways, today is a day where it's just like relaxing, resting. It's rained a little bit earlier, but I think it rains every day here because of the climate. But anyways, I look really crusty right now. <laughs> I'm still in like my pajamas. So I'm gonna go fix my face, fix everything, and put on some bathing, I don't know why I can't talk, put on a bathing suit, and then I will see you guys in a sec. Hey guys, so we finally made it to the beach. Here's my outfit for the day. I have my beach chair set up right in the sun cause your girl needs a tan, cause she's looking real pale right now. <laughs> you would think cause I live in LA it would be, oh, look what just happened. Whatever. You would think me living in LA would mean that like, you know, I have a nice tan going on, you know, sunny. It's been raining, quite honestly. It's been raining every single day. And it's been very gray and I've been indoors. So we are, you are using this time to get, what is it? Vitamin D? Vitamin D because I need it. Anyway, mom, do you want to show you your little outfit today? Doesn't she look so cute? <laughs> And look how cute my mom and I have matching bags. She has a blue one and I have a pink one. I got an extra one this summer when I was shopping. So I gave my extra one to my mom. So now we have matching uh, bags. Bag. And now my mom's gonna help me take some Instagram pictures because she's just cool like that. I don't know if you can see, there's a cat right there. There's a bunch of cats. There's another one right there. I see that one a lot. I haven't seen that one yet. Bunch of cats here. I'm allergic to cats. Otherwise I would go at them, even though you're probably not supposed to. It's probably like feral cats. I don't know much about cats. I'm more of a dog person. But anyways, let's take some pictures. This is really dangerous because I have my camera out, but it's raining now. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, so it rained. <laughs> and then it started to clear up a little bit, like in two months. And we're like, oh, maybe we'll just wait it out because it started to dry up a little bit. And as soon as I started heading towards like the chairs, it just started downpouring again. I was like, okay, never mind. We're, we'll, we'll just go get some lunch right now. So at least we got some pictures. I couldn't see them, honestly. So we might have to take more another time. But, but yeah, so now we're gonna go to lunch. I'm gonna just throw on my cover up because I didn't get like extremely wet. Um, and then we'll go to lunch and I'll keep you updated. Okay, we just finished lunch and we're headed to the beach now. We're gonna try this again round two I got my handy dandy little tumbler cup filled with water so I don't get dehydrated. Uh, mom, how are you feeling? Uh, cheers, ready for round two. Cheers. Also look how cute these little cups are. My mom got them. Show them yours. Oh, it's like my cup. <laughs> it's so cute. Also look how pretty these flowers are. I think I'm gonna garden one day guys. I'm thinking about gardening and maybe starting my own little one outside of my apartment like on my little deck area. I don't know. I probably don't have the time for that, but would love to do it. Maybe over the summer. We'll see. I don't know. Look how gorgeous. Oh, I have a good feeling about it. Hopefully no rain. What, rain is welcome if we like absolutely need it, you know, but I just, I feel like this area is watered down enough, you know, like maybe just hold out for the rest of the night. It'd be nice, you know, instead of... <laughs> Not being selfish. I mean, if, if the climate really needs rain, then it's fine, but just, just for an afternoon, it'd be nice. Okay, before I sit down and relax, I wanna take some pictures on this because they look really good. So I'm gonna force my mom to take pictures with me real quick again. Okay, and then I'll see you guys in a little, oh wait, before I forget, I wanna show you the book I'm reading. I'm reading this book. I'm just a few chapters in, but it's pretty good so far. I'll let you know how it is. strawberry daiquiri and let's just say they make things a little different here <laughs> it's not your typical strawberry daiquiri it's you know it's definitely interesting but hey it's a strawberry daiquiri so we're just gonna drink and have a good time okay my book's getting good so far i'm almost on like chapter 10 and i'm excited so i'm gonna keep reading more and then i'll kind of like let you in on just a bit i won't spoil anything though because that fun. That's not nice. Oh, also tonight, I think I'm gonna film like a get ready with me for dinner, but with my mom. So stay tuned for that for another video. And yeah, let's keep relaxing. As you can see, the sun has gone down a little bit, which I'm kind of sad about. I love when the sun's out and just, ugh. but it's still very nice out. It's still warm. It has like a nice little breeze, very comfortable. Okay, we are done with our beach day now, and now it's time to get ready for dinner. I'm gonna do a separate video on me getting ready for dinner, just like a get ready with me with my mom, so you guys can go watch that after. Yeah, I will show you my finished look once I'm done, then I'll take you to dinner. Okay, I never actually, ooh, I never filmed my finished look, but this is what it was, and then I had a necklace as well, but I just took it off. Well, actually, my mom and I are about to watch Disenchanted. We started it last night. We're gonna finish it tonight. And then she said yes. <laughs> and then uh, we'll go to sleep. But yeah, end of whatever day this is. Okay, good morning. It's a new day. So my family is already at breakfast because uh, I, I stay back to put on a little makeup and also make like a couple of videos. But yeah, so I'm headed to breakfast now and then we're gonna head to uh, some stores to go shopping for a little bit before we lay out at the beach. So yeah, the stores close at like noon. I'm like noon 30, 12 30. So yeah, I think they have like a long shop, which I love. So hopefully I can get some fun stuff. And yeah, okay, I'll see you guys later, bye. Okay guys, good morning. So yesterday was kind of a bust because I told you we were going shopping and then that did not happen because the shops were closed. Anyway, that's a long story. We'll get into that later. Today we went to another island. We had like a two hour drive to this little boat. This boat ride was like 30 minutes-ish. It was so rocky, oh my gosh. I thought we were gonna flip over and I also got a little sick too. I'm not feeling the best now. But we're here and it's beautiful and we'll be here like all day. So yeah, I'll take you around. Hey guys, okay, so 
So let's catch up. I feel like a lot happened. So let's just like do a little like rewind of the day. So like I said before, yesterday was kind of like, well, okay. So yesterday we went to the stores, but it was Sunday. No one told us that the stores were closed on Sunday. On online said they were open. So we went there and it took like at least 30 minutes to get there. And then it wasn't open, so we went back. So that took like a good chunk out of our day. Anyways, that's just from yesterday. But today, today was a lot of fun. Um, it was a lot though. The traveling there, oh, this is what I wanted to say. So getting to this other island today was really chaotic. So we had to leave at 6.30 a.m. And for me, I'm like, I'm on vacation 6.30. 6.30 a.m. is really early for me on vacation. So we had to leave at 6.30 a.m. We left here at 6.30. We got there at like 8.15 to the boat, like the ferry that takes you over to the island. It takes you like another 30 minutes by boat to get to this island. Let me tell you. I mean, like the whole thing together was like almost three hours just to get there. And this boat was so choppy. I got seasick on the way there i don't like you know i don't like throw up or anything but like i get nauseous like i get very nauseous and i was feeling a little sick a little woozy when i got there because the water was so choppy and it was same on the way back it was still choppy anyways it was a lot of fun though my mom actually we went swimming in the ocean my mom took some cute pics of me so stay tuned for those and it's so funny actually to me i need to get this off my chest it's so funny to me because people on my Instagram and stuff, so I'm 21, like, and I'm not like, oh, and I'm not like a new 21. Like, I've been 21 for over six months. Like, I'm on my way to 22. And I think people forget that I'm not like not 10 anymore. So like when I post a picture, that's not even like sexual or suggestive. They get like with a bikini or like less clothing on or an outfit that's a little more edgy or like a little more artistic. They get very like protective or they're like, what would your mom say? What would Dr. Holly say? Like what, da, 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 da. like I, I can't believe it. You're like you're raunchy, da, da, da. When it's really like y'all need to chill. Chill. First of all, you would not be saying the same things if a girl was not curvy. If the girl was stick thin, you would not be saying anything, okay? It's because it got curves where things look a little more voluptuous on me. It's a, it's a blessing and a curse, guys. But no, my mom loves when I post things where I feel confident. And that's something that I wanted to tell people because people get so on me about like my body and how my body looks in clothes and my boobs, you know, being out. It's just, there. there's some things I can't control and I'm not going to not wear cute clothes or things that I think I look good in because someone wants me to cover up more or thinks it doesn't look as good. I don't care. If I feel comfortable in it, I'm going to do what I want. And my mom, since I was a little girl, knows how much I have been through just body wise. If I feel comfortable in something, she's going to be happy for me. So as long as I'm happy, healthy, and I'm thriving, she's happy, you know? And I think that's really amazing. And I think that's a lot of things that I think, I think it, I think that's something for other people to think about as well. When I post a picture like with me in a bikini or me in something that has like cutouts or something, you know, sometimes it takes a lot of guts to post something like that. Not saying that you need to praise someone for posting pictures like that, but sometimes it takes a lot of guts especially for like a person like me who has been body shamed since I was literally like 12 years old now me being an adult actually like loving my body for what it is and know it it doesn't look the same from when I was 16 or even 18 but it still works you know it's healthy it's functioning I I look good and I feel good and that is the most important part and people just they need to just lay off on all that kind of stuff because like of course my mom is gonna be happy for me of course as long as I'm looking good and I'm still staying true to myself my mom is going to support me no matter what so I don't know why this whole narrative of people just saying like your mom must be so disappointing no she's actually really happy for me because I'm finally loving the way my body looks and it took me so long to do that so I'm not gonna let other people take that away from me okay I know that was a long rant anyways I had to get that off my chest anyways Let's see, what else did we do? Oh, we had lunch, we went swimming, and 
we went to a, a fort. We went to a fort and we drove around the island and looked everywhere and saw a beautiful view, saw beautiful water and sand. And then we also went to the town and just looked around, shopped. I, sh I got this necklace, which is so cute. My Nana got it for me. And then we also got some magnets that are also really nice too, because I put magnets on my fridge and I get magnets wherever I go, wherever I travel. So I got these two and yeah, so that was the day and then it took us three hours to get back And then once I got back, I just showered. I don't feel like getting ready for dinner tonight So I'm literally going to wear this I'm tired tomorrow's the last day So I'll actually get ready for tomorrow, but today we're not we're not doing that <laughs> I just, I can't. Also, okay, something really exciting happened yesterday. So I, as you guys know, I, well, actually, I don't know if you guys know, but as some of you guys may know, I love to read and I've actually have gotten halfway. I want to try and finish this tomorrow. We'll see if we do. Might be a little hard, might be a little ambitious, but I'll try, we'll see. The coolest thing happened. So this woman on the tour, I forgot what day, but we became friends with her and her husband and they were so cool. Uh, she's French, but she lives in Ireland now. And she is just, she just had a really cool story. She travels a lot and she also loves to read. And when I said I was an American literature and culture major, she got excited. She was like, oh, so you like to read? I was like, yes, I love to read. And she was like, you know what? I just, I just finished a book. Like, let me give you my book that I just finished. I was like, okay. So she's like, I'll find you hopefully one of these days and give you the book once we get back. I was like, okay, cool. That sounds good. She literally found me and gave me the book. I think that this is like the coolest thing ever. Like what a cool souvenir. What a cool present. Like I think sentimental things are the best gifts ever because it's like no one can just like, I don't know. It's just, it's just so cool. It's just so cool. So this is called The Gunkle uh, by Stephen Rowley. And yeah, I'm so excited to read it because it sounds like something that, something sounds like something I would like. It's about a gay uncle. So I'm excited to read it. I'll let you guys know how it is. But I thought that this was just such a special gift in such a special moment. Like I love when stuff happens like that. That's just it warms my heart, guys. It warms my heart. I'm such a sucker for things like that. Cause I read, you guys, I read and I look watch movies and I always like romanticize my life and I'm like I love like I want like I love you know thinking about like me walking to a bookstore and then like stumbling upon like the love of my life I mean I, I have a boyfriend now so like not like that anymore but like you know like you just read so much and you kind of like fantasize your life and you're like oh I want to be that girl that like travels all over the world and like finds a best friend and then we travel the world together just crazy things like that and this was kind of like my fun little like moment I don't know Anyways, that was a lot for right now, but I've had to catch you guys up. Like you guys missed out on so much and this will probably be a longer video. So I'm, if you guys are still here, thanks. And I will see you guys. You no, know, we're gonna turn in for tonight. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the last day. Okay guys, so it's the last night. Here's my fit for our last dinner tonight. I think it's really pretty. I'm gonna go take some pictures and yeah, and then we'll talk a bit. Okay guys, we just finished dinner and I'm gonna have my family say hi really quick. This is my Nana. Hi. <laughs> you guys know my mom. And then this is my aunt. Hi. And that's the fam. Hey guys, so the trip is like done now. It's over. And I'm really sad because I had a really good time just spending time with my family and just being in the sun since it's been so rainy and cold everywhere else. So just being in the sun, in the sand, by the beach, by the water, just it's been so nice. You didn't see much of my Nana and my aunt because they don't really want to be filmed. I had them make like a little tiny cameo, but like they're not into that kind of stuff. So we kept it short and sweet. But yeah, that was it. We just had breakfast and then we head out and like so our room we were out of our room at 10 it's almost 9 40 now so about 20 minutes before we have to be out of our room and then the shuttle comes to pick us up at 11 30 so we'll have like an hour and a half just to chill so we'll probably just like find a place to relax and i'll start my new book guys i finished my book last night which was so great i stayed up super late finishing it and i did it it was so good people we meet on vacation loved it i thought it was so great but i'm also just like a sucker for like love stories not love anything so yeah 
yeah it was it was really cute and it was a really good read and i read it pretty fast i mean i read it in in a week i started it when i got here and i finished it before i left so yeah a week i'm debating reading this book that the woman gave me gunko that i told you about before her name is sabine i hope i said it right but yes and then or this book but i think i'm gonna read this book first just because it's a little shorter that shouldn't be a reason but i want to try and finish it before school starts again because once i start with school i literally don't ever get a chance to read because i'm so stressed with schoolwork and i read a lot for school already it's like the last thing i want to do at the end of the day is like read some more after i just spent hours reading academically so anyways that was a really fun trip i'm so happy i brought you guys with me and yeah i hope you guys had a fun time too i will see you guys in the next video you can comment down what you want to see next make sure you like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye Mwah!